good afternoon, Sarah. How are you? Hi, I'm well, thank you. Welcome to GCC Nationalization thank Summit. You. Six years of uh, success with nationalization. Uh, could you give our audience a brief introduction to yourself? Um, well, I'm an employment lawyer. I am based in Dubai at Clyde & Co's offices um, and lead the employment team for the region. So we've got offices in Riyadh, um, Qatar, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Um, but we, we service our clients sort of employment needs in the whole Middle East. Okay. So, uh, could you, Sarah, in your experience of working with, uh, with employment for the Middle East, the UAE, could you tell us what, what has impressed you the most about the UAE's nationalization group? I think it's the, it's the dedication that people have to it, the passion that they show. I've come across um, a lot of people who um, work in the private sector but are very, very passionate about it as, a, as an issue and as an initiative. So that's very impressive. And I think the, the willingness and the initiatives, that the, the importance that the government places on it as well. Mm, okay. And, and what do you feel is the biggest obstacle still around? I think there are lots of cultural barriers, um, a lot of uh, miscommunications, misconceptions on both sides. So when you say both sides, by what do you mean? Um, by the candidates themselves, uh, the nationals, um, and also the businesses, so the, the potential employers. Mm, okay. Uh, how do you feel they can overcome that? Because that's a very big gap then. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think... Um, I think internships, summer internships, work experience placements for people from sort of from the level of high school to university to graduate school at all, at all those levels. I think the more you get people in the workplace, even just as a kind of work experience, a couple of weeks, just so they they see what it is and what the culture is like. Yeah, I think that's a success uh, story that's worked well for countries like Singapore and in mm -hmm. Hong Kong, yeah. where mentoring at a year, yeah. younger age and even up to the minister level. Definitely. It's really yeah. My last question, Sarah, is that we, we're um, handling this event in September in Qatar. Um, obviously because Qatar is uh, a dynamic new market for the Middle East emerging and, and they really have a strong passion, as Abdul Al-Mansuri said, for nationalizing. You know? What do you feel GCC nationalization should, should cover in, in a strong way for Qatar? Because you, you've been around in this area and you know this market when it comes to employment and nationalization. With the Qatar focus, what do you think we, we can add value and we should work on in the next six months? I think it's the training initiatives bringing people a lot, I mean, and this is characteristic of the region as a whole, we've got very, very well-educated young people, um, and some people who have even, you know, studied abroad, they spent many, many years and invested really heavily in their education, and they come back to the region, and suddenly they, they maybe, maybe even experience depression, because they think, well, where are the opportunities for me? I spent so much time investing in this. I'm a very bright person, I, I can do this. Um, so I think it's training. Training. Training and Sarah, thank you very much for your time. Uh, it's, uh, I'm sure it was very insightful for our audience as well, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you.